Good evening, sports and pop culture fans, and welcome to the Sports Couple Perspectives, right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. As always, this is me, your boy Larry B. I'm joined by my beautiful wife, the lovely Cecilia. Good evening. Hi, everyone. And we are here tonight with a special kind of show. This is Wife versus Husband this week. <laughs> and we are really excited for this one. This is going to be a fun one. Mm-hmm. It always is. Uh, right? But this one tonight is going to be a little extra special. Oh, well, yeah. Because we'll keep competing against each other. Oh, yeah. She's putting her fists up, guys. She's putting her <laughs> dukes up over here. She's going to beat me up. <laughs> tonight is the very first TSCP. IESR draft. And we are going head to head picking two teams of six of our podcasters here at IE Sports Radio. Mm-hmm. And the most live plays and downloads for each of those shows by next Friday. Well, that's the winning team. <laughs> and, well. The loser has to sit through three movies of the winner's choice. Mm-hmm. While that e- right. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. While eating the winner's choice of pizza. Yeah. During the movie marathon next weekend. How do you like that? Maybe even get popcorn. Maybe even get popcorn. It's going to be fun. Oh, we're going to draft our teams tonight. Really excited. We got our big boards. With the IE Sports Radio podcasters, most listens since January, so we're excited. We're really, really excited. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's different. I'm looking forward to it. Right, I like some... a little competition. Yo, you know, you pick all the opposite teams. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have some fun. Our Raiders selected Brock Bowers last night, tight end out of Georgia. Good pick. Our Lakers keep sucking. <laughs> They are down 0-3 to the freaking Denver Nuggets. Oh, it's This is going to be a fun one tonight. Once again, you are now tuned in live to the Sports Couple Perspectives right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Once again, there you be, my beautiful wife Cecilia here, and we are getting ready to enjoy the hour with you guys. So... First things first, how was your week? We just finished off another week of work. You guys, we have five weeks to go of work. Yeah, only five weeks. That's crazy. Five weeks of, of, it's funny because, I mean, we love our students. Uh But five more weeks to go of waking up in the morning early, heading out to work, a day of just, you know, helping and doing our thing, doing what we do, lectures and all the fun stuff. And then we get two full months of summer. Yep. That's nice. Oh, that's so wonderful. Well, as if you don't do summer school. True. But even then, it's, summer school is only two weeks yeah. in between. And then, yeah. I also might teach college courses this summer, depending. So, you know, a little mm-hmm. extra money. Mm-hmm. Kind of nice. So, we shall see. But yep. I will say, I am very excited for our little break coming up. Me too. Right, definitely. I need needed. it. <laughs> so needed, right? Uh huh. But something I'm actually really, really excited for too is and this is awesome. Our 10 year IE Sports Radio anniversary. Oh, yeah. And even more than that, on the same exact day, our two year wedding anniversary. Whoa. That goes so fast. I can't even be married for two years. How do you like that? That's pretty good. I like the map. I'm just yeah, this is this has been crazy. Mm-hmm. Two years. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Yeah, two years of driving me crazy. Hey, I'm just I kidding. can say the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's all love, all love. Right, all love. Okay. So, <laughs> with that said, you guys, thank you so very much for tuning in tonight. It's been a fun one. I know, look up, right? I know. Sorry, been... I cracked myself up. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Jim B in the chat room says, "Good evening, ISR." Co- 
Well, we're not the IASR couple. I mean, I guess we can be that if you want to. The IA Sports Radio couple, I guess. uh, TSCP. But, you know, whatever works. You know, Mm -hmm. the sports club perspectives. Whichever works. Good evening, Gen B. Taryn Rodriguez in the chat. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, I hate the Lakers right now, too. It's okay. (laughs) Um, Ralph Calise. Good day, good sir. And, oh, Ralph is wishing us good drafts. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that. I'm going to outdraft my wife tonight. Nope. We'll see about that. Mm-hmm. About to, I'm about I to outdraft you. Whomever is on my team, we're going to be winners no matter what. Well, team, oh, we're, t- t- team Larry B is going to be like the greatest team ever assembled. Uh uh-uh. uh. Watch. Watch we'll what see. happens. Uh uh-uh. uh. See, see, this woman doesn't know. She don't know. She don't know. <laughs> no way. She don't, you don't know. It, whatever it is, you don't know it. Aye. Mm hmm. Yep, that's right. We're going we're gonna to take y'all down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. my team is gonna be the best. <laughs> <laughs> they were gonna want to be on Team Cecilia. That's that's not the winning team, though. Oh, shut your mouth! Why would they want to be on the team? Because I'm not the best. Oh, oh, you're the best, and it? I know it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> she is very confident. In it. Overconfident. Hey, dang, <laughs> I know, right? Hey, watch her kick the crap out of me, you guys. That'd be... Well, yeah, we better. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, tonight's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. Before we get into any action tonight, we're going to take a little bit of a, uh, you know, little little few minutes here to thank our sponsors. We appreciate our sponsors so very much. Of course, Planet Jerky Premium Brisket Beef Jerky. Delicious beef jerky, man. The official jerky. Not only of Ice Sports Radio, but of the 2022 California League champion, Leg Elsinore Storm, single-A affiliate of the San Diego Padres. Also, this all-brisket jerky has gluten-free options, contains no MSG, no sodium nitrate, low in sugar, and high in protein, baby. That's right. Planet Jerky. The jerky that's on a whole other planet. Please make sure to head on over to planetjerky.net. Grab you some delicious jerky. The NFL draft is going on right now. Why not grab you some jerky? I mean, it might not get there, but hey, uh, in time, but it might. But all kinds of great things going on right now. The NHL playoffs, the NBA playoffs, all kinds of fun stuff is going on at the moment. So grab you some jerky. Enjoy it with some sports. Enjoy it with any of our IE Sports Radio shows here. And we are really, really, really excited, of course, to be sponsored by planet jerky all right great stuff there so we're actually you know watching draft keeping tabs on it right now so happy right now to see our beloved raiders man jackson powers johnson guard out of oregon oh my gosh we got our offensive line got better he's a steal at at pick number 44 i am so freaking excited yeah we just got all the notifications Mm -hmm. watching it right now we're so happy for that because we need an offensive line Brock Bowers last night. I thought you were awesome. more defensive. Well, we, we need. I know you need both. We but. need both. But right mm-hmm. now, I mean, hey, if we're going to stick with O'Connell, we got a big target. You know, another mm-hmm. target receiver to go with Myers. The last last year we saw him. Hey, why not? You know? Yeah. I mean, Antonio Pierce knows what he's doing. We trust him. Yeah. So we're going to go with his picks. So that was a great pick. So anyway, of course, big ups, Planet Jerky. Thank you guys in the chat room. We appreciate you. Mike Pat and Ralph Calise. Sponsors, of course. Head on over to at planetjerky.net. Grab you some Planet Jerky, of course. Head on over to at Planet Jerky, that is, on Instagram. Check them out. Let them know IE Sports Radio sent you. And, of course, seal the deal. Wax seals with my beautiful wife, Cecilia B. You just finished your very own wedding or baby shower invitations, and you're looking for that extra special touch. Maybe you just wrote a letter to a friend or a relative. And you want to add to their smile when they receive it. Then seal the deal with Cecilia's handmade wax sealing stamps for your invitations, letters, and gifts. You bring the deal, we'll bring the seal. Check her out, y'all. Facebook at Seal the Deal Wax Seals and on Instagram at Seal the Deal underscore Wax Stamps. She's currently working on Angela's batch for uh, her wedding coming up for invitations, getting ready to get sent out in a few months. So mm-hmm. she's going to have some of those up on the. Uh, on the social media, so yeah, check her out. Head on over to iesportsradio.com forward slash seal the deal wax seals to make your purchase today. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. Yep. So. <laughs> All right. So here we go, man. We are really excited. So many great things. Almost 10 years of iesports radio next month. Can you believe we're under a month until our 10 year anniversary? 
of course, the same day as our two-year anniversary being married. I love it. Mm-hmm. What a way to make me never forget that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, that was for your benefit. I'm right, it really was. IE Sports Radio, man, we've been around for almost 10 years. Appreciate you guys for showing us love. Head on over to iSportsRadio.com, iSportsRadio.com forward slash shop. Grab you some merch. Show us some love. Mm-hmm. All the goods are on there. We appreciate you guys so very much, and thank you for that. So, well, tonight's going to be a fun one. We don't have a coffee or any drink. Crap. Whoops. Yeah, it's been a busy week. It has. It's been a big one. I'll tell you. Our uh, our district right now, really cool. We do like these senior interviews for our seniors, and we have to get them ready. To me, this is such a cool thing. Our district is amazing for doing this because you want to add the real life purpose in there, right? Mm-hmm. You know? So it's really cool getting their resumes and their cover letters ready, and they do these mock interviews. Real businesses come. They could actually land a job, too, if they're over 18. At the time, I mean, it's just such a cool thing, and we had to prepare them. I thought it was awesome, and our my, oh man, my kids did amazing. I'm so proud of them all. It was awesome seeing them do their thing. It was a really exhausting week getting through all that, but all their interviews are finished. They got their their grade sheets back from that, and uh, yeah, they all did really well. So that was going on. The draft was going on. Uh, we just, man, we just, uh, <laughs> it was a lot. You had a busy week with your kids this week for sure. Yeah, just doing our regular daily things. Still, though, it's a mm-hmm. lot. I mean, it's a day in the life. A day in the life of your job. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, working working with SAH is, is, is beautiful. It really is. But, man, the energy it takes is unreal. That's for sure. I never realized how much energy I use, especially, like, when it's towards the end of the week. I'm just dead tired. <laughs> so I'm glad when it's Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really cool. It's, it, I love it. I think it's really, really cool that uh you know that you work with those guys and mm-hmm. i think it's such a beautiful I love thing what i do right me mm-hmm. too we both do but it's still tiring mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, so here we go and oh i got a half point in the mock draft challenge yay the mock draft challenge we did i didn't oh. do so well but <laughs> so like- but what? I was like, we didn't do anything yet. <laughs> well, our draft is going to be fun. But... Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to have some fun coming up in that, and I'm really excited for this. So here we go, y'all. We are just mowing down the moments here. And really, once again, just uh, grateful and thankful for all you guys tuning in, in the chat room. We appreciate you all. Taryn, Mike, Jen B, Adam Karnick is jumping in there, Ralph Calise. We thank you all for tuning in. As we always say, big ups and all glory to God. Without him, nothing is possible. Of course, big ups and thank you to all of you guys tuning in. Because without you, I Sports Radio is not possible. We thank you guys. We appreciate you. So, there's a little bit of our week that we had. A little bit of our, you know, introduction about tonight's show. But tonight, we got to get into our sports. Mm-hmm. A little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of, uh, of Raider talk with our draft. We also got to talk, as much as I don't want to, about the Lakers just falling <laughs> on their freaking face. Uh, thank God the duck season is over. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't take it no more. I just... Hopefully next year they can do it. October, your birthday. Yeah, it I know. It starts all over, so let's hope. That's as you call it the, what do you call it? The, the sports junction. That. Yes. Yeah. We're almost... I almost called it the sports freeway. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good I was close. <laughs> I tried. I tried my best oh, to remember. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> I mean, there are freeways where, you know, but I guess that's what you call the junction. The junction, yeah. yeah. That was a good one. That was very dramatic. Right. The sports freeway. Yep. Hey, that's kind of a cool name. You should make that one. The yeah. sports freeway. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, all I know is all the freaking freeways are going different ways through the sports junction, and that's mid-season for the NFL, and we're driving by in that car going, yeah. Because the season's still young, but getting a little older. Trying to find out who's who in October. So, oh yeah. You're am, funny. Am I having too much fun with the buttons again? No. But it's funny. So, I love the buttons. They're fun. They're fun. I'm getting the deaths there. So I'm going <laughs> to stop playing with the buttons. Um, <laughs> with that said, you guys, we're going to take ourselves our first break of the night. When we come back, like I said, we're talking our sports. The Galaxy playing some good soccer right now. The Ducks, like I said, thank you, God, that the season's over. The Lakers are just going to fall apart. and Well, that's their fault. Uh, the Raiders looking good on draft day last night and today for dang sure. 
all kinds of good things coming our way, so be ready. Lots of sports talk coming. Uh, we are talking tonight about one of our favorite shows that I just cannot stop watching. Cecilia walks it every now and then. Bar Rescue! <laughs> Any John Taffer fans out there, I... Oh, we're going to get all into Bar Rescue tonight. And then, of course, to end off the show, we have the very first ever TSCP ISR draft. That's a long title. Mm. But, yeah, drafting our teams of six. Try to say that five times fast I, or I, ten I, times fast. I'll sound like an idiot. <laughs> TSCP ISR draft. TP, no, okay, I'm not going uh-huh. to screw up. Okay, so with that said, y'all, we're going to take ourselves the first break. When we get back, we're going to jump into some of our sports. Who should we draft tonight? Hmm. We'll be right back after this. Sports fans, do you like teams that are tough, cities that are tougher, and fan bases that are passionate about their teams? How about teams that are historic and stadiums that are iconic? Then you belong in Chicago, and you need to check out Chi Town Weekly. Join me, Adam Kernan every week as we keep up with all things Chicago sports. Bears, Bulls, Blackhawks, Cubs, White Sox. We'll cover them all plus more. The Windy City is always buzzing and we'll keep you up on all the big games and major stories. So tune in to Chi-Town Weekly every week right here on IE Sports Radio. Your direct feed for all that is sports. going down this is space out sports with your host jay man giving you all houston sports straight from the source about your ice sports radio your direct feed for all that is sports in this show we're going to talk about everything houston through and through and everything we're going to talk about the surrounding areas we're going to talk about local sports everything in texas in general mainly houston but we're going to talk about everything in the sports world i want to hear from y'all y'all definitely going to hear from me we can go from anything all over from it to football to mma to everything let's have a good show i'm looking forward to hearing from the city y'all make sure y'all just check me out every wednesday right here at space style sports Brought to you by IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Let's go. Are you a fan of Buffalo sports? Are you thinking of changing loyalties and becoming a Buffalo sports fan? Do you even know where Buffalo is on the map? Did you know Canada is closer to Buffalo than New York City? Welcome to the Buffalo Huddle every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Coast Time on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. I'm your host, Patty Bax. This is a podcast designed for you, the passionate sports fan. 
I know you love your sports. Who doesn't? I cover Buffalo sports and so much more by bringing in the human elements. I call it Buffalo sports with a twist. Join me as we take a journey into the world of Buffalo sports. I guarantee you'll fall in love with Buffalo just like I did. Each week we start with an inspiration, question of the day, a Buffalo fun fact, and a weekly challenge to you, the listener. Come huddle up with me. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4 p.m. Pacific Coast Time for the Buffalo Huddle with Patty Bax on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. As we say in Buffalo, Go Bills! Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Couple Perspectives right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Oh yeah, baby! Yes, you are. IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Yeah! <laughs> That's how we roll. Oh yeah. So excited, y'all. We're getting down, having some fun tonight. Thank you to everybody once again in the chat. We appreciate you. And man, we are rolling here tonight. Oh my goodness. It's been a it's been sports, man, I'll tell you. First things first, let's get the Lakers out of the way. These guys <laughs> are just oh, they piss me off. So Really quick, man. They get in from the play-in tournament. Probably should have lost the Pelicans because now we're freaking falling apart. First game totally just lost bar none, 114-103 to in game one last Saturday. Then on Monday, we thought it was cute to have a 20-point lead and let them come back and score a buzzer beater on us as time ran out, 101-99, <laughs> to lost game two. Dang. Last night, played them again, lost 112-105, to now all they got to do is beat us one more time tomorrow. Lakers are eliminated. And the Nuggets move on. I mean, they've held it this far. Even with not doing, maybe not so great, but still. We look like crap. <laughs> I, I'm so mad at the stupid team You never right now. know. They might surprise you. LeBron's probably going to retire. I mean, I, I, AD plays the best he can sometimes. I, this team just really irritates what me. What do you think uh, it is? Maybe a new coach? No, it, it's just time to... Hit the reset button. It's it's over. You know, let LeBron ride into the sunset. See if we can build around AD. Reeves is okay. You know, Russell. I, I don't know. This this team just doesn't look very competitive. They, they really irritate me. Last year, they were in the playing tournament. We made it all the way to the freaking semis. Couldn't get it done. Just just every, everything about this team just irritates me right now. So, well, I still have hope. <laughs> no, I have hope too, but it's thin. <laughs> anyway. Talking to a winning team right now. We're talking about a winning team. How about how about our number one in the West, LA Galaxy? Yeah. How about our LA <laughs> Galaxy? What? They were last place last year, like almost the whole freaking season. Okay. Yeah. Right now, through nine games played in the West, the Galaxy currently leads five wins. Three draws and one loss. We were there for one of those draws when they played in March yeah. against St. Louis, who is currently that's number nine. Mm-hmm. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's great. Look at, St. Louis is way down there. We're way up here. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, look at our arch rivals, even though we lost that stupid game due to a um, due to a really annoying... Penalty kick that wasn't even a penalty kick, but yeah, that one was stupid. A bunch of crap. Yeah, but whatever. We lost. We're still leading. Oh yeah, we're happy. Mm-hmm. We're happy. Oh yeah, this is, this is fun. I still think it's weird how soccer can end on a tie. <laughs> is it a great? No. Just kidding. I need a winner. No ties. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we we could if we had uh, <laughs> if we had uh, penalty kicks in there, but yeah. I'm so excited because we're leading right now. I mean, first place we have 18 points. Second place right now, Vancouver with 16. Real Salt Lake behind us with 15. Colorado with 15, and Minnesota with 14. Nice. I'm so excited right now for this galaxy. 
We're in a new galaxy, y'all. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. So from one crappy LA team right now, the stupid Lakers, to the our beloved galaxy, thank you. Yeah, Taryn in the chat room letting us know how much he can't stand the Lakers. But he also <laughs> says the galaxy number one in the West. Yeehaw. D- d- yes. <laughs> yes, Taryn. Oh, you hurt my ear. I'm sorry. It's just... It's the power of the ye and the ha. You got you know get that yeehaw power. Oh my gosh, hashtag yeehaw power. <laughs> oh, you don't even know. Oh, it's going down. Are you gonna put that on all your posts? Yes, now? I am. <laughs> People need to know about oh, our show. <laughs> but I'll tell you, it's it's uh. It's it's fun. I'm so excited. I'm so damn excited. At least we're number one in something right now. So good <laughs> for the galaxy. We just keep winning. Yeah, they're good. We're doing good. good. The last three we, since that LAFC game where we lost, the last two weeks we beat Vancouver three to one two Saturdays ago, and just last Sunday we beat San Jose. They actually came back in that game. We almost lost or tied, but that's the California Clasico. They call it Clasico. And we beat them four to three. That's a lot of goals. Mm -hmm. But we beat them, and now we are on our way to Austin tomorrow over to uh, our boy uh, Spaced Out Sports. Okay, our boy uh, Mr. J-Man on to his neck of the woods to play Austin. Nice. So let's go beat them, too. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. I'm so excited. So We can't tell. I'm sorry. (laughs) Anyway, let's go ahead and take another... Let's take a dip into the MLB, shall we? See how these two teams are doing. So the first one I see here up here, we got the Anaheim Angels. I'm not going to call them Los Angeles. Mm. Middle of the road right now, actually, in the West, in the AL West. Currently, Seattle leads at 13 and 12. Texas at 13 and 13. And how about this? Anaheim is at 10 and 15 in third place. Not bad. The Athletics are 10 and 16 in fourth. And then Houston, of all teams, Houston is nosediving right now. They have been dominant for the last couple of years. They are now 7 and 19. Ha! Oh, sorry, wow. I don't care. That's another knock on our boy J-Man right there over there in Houston. So sorry. But anyway, third place right now. You know what? How about this? The Angels in the last week, we played the Oreos. Mm. And um, we just, you know, we we lost... But we, we, we just, it's weird. We lost the series. We won one game, though, thankfully. Over the last weekend, actually, we got swept by the Reds, unfortunately. Last weekend, on Friday, 7-1. to one. On Saturday, 7-5. to five. We just like to let up seven runs, apparently. And then 3-0, to zero, all in Cincinnati last week. And then on Monday, we played the Oreos. Sorry. <laughs> played the Orioles. Monday, they beat us 4-2. to two. Tuesday, we beat them 7-4. to four. And then on oh. Wednesday, they beat us 6-5. to five. Oh. So, yeah. So, we're now on to this week, or, well, tonight, where they play against the Twins at home. We got the Twins in a three-game homestand. Mm -hmm. And then we also host Philly next week at home, too. But that's going to be a hard one, so. But anyway, they're doing pretty okay. So, let's see how they keep on doing. But how about them L.A. Dodgers? I think they've been on fire. Los Doyers. <laughs> they are currently number one in the NL West. Told you, they're on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeehaw, baby. Currently 16 and 11 on the season. Wow. Leading by two and a half. Is it two and a half games? They're leading right now by, by two and a half games over number two, the Padres. I think even, what's his name? How do you say it? Otani? Oh, Tani, you're getting it. Uh, has like a highest record right now for, I forgot. He knocked a I home run. I just saw it on Facebook too. Out of the park, that was like 102 miles an hour. The, the freaking ball is the fastest ball to leave the stadium like, wow. in history. I think that's what it was. Like, the guy yeah, is fastest. amazing. And something else. We're so happy. We're so proud of him. Uh, yeah. But I guess, yeah. F- from an angel to a Dodger, we'll take it. Hey, mm-hmm. You know, but the dude is amazing. 16 and, and 11 right now. Uh, I mean, overall wins. Dodgers right now, I guess you would say they're tied for third. But um, in overall wins, of course, Cleveland right now with the most wins in the in the league with 18 and 7. So Gen B's happy over there. 
with her guardians with that. And then, of course, Atlanta. And we got Ice Ray over there real happy about his uh, 16 and 7 Braves. But hey, we're, leave us alone. We're pretty happy with the Dodgers right now, 16 and 11. Uh, yeah. They lead by two and a half games over the Padres. Then you have Arizona at 12. Uh, the, well, the Padres are 14 and 14. Arizona is 12 and 14. San Francisco is also 12 and 14. It's a tight division. And then Colorado is just falling apart at the seams at 7 and 19 as well. So they're the. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. They're the uh, Astros of... That's okay. Uh, we don't want any other teams to win anyway. Right? Leave them alone. <laughs> Get them out of here. So, yeah. Good stuff there. Baseball teams, not too shabby. Mm-hmm. Also got to give a huge shout out to the California Baptist cheer and stunt teams. <laughs> you guys, they just won the cheerleading national championship. CBU did it again unmatched these ladies got down congratulations how about that yeah that's awesome they got down they did their thing Mm -hmm. i know you love gymnastics oh yes i love it lsu just won the national championship louisiana state purple and yellow the tigers so (laughs) they just yep the lady tigers did their thing when the national championship a couple weeks ago so that was pretty cool no that's not our team but i know you love your gymnastics so Mm -hmm. that works so anyway some fun stuff from our teams right now. We're just, you know, loving them, doing our best to love them, too, sometimes. I mean, uh, uh, thank God the season for the Ducks is over. Finish off the season uh, with a 4-1 to one victory over the Golden Knights last Thursday. Thank you, God, the season is over. Lost to the Kings before that. But the Ducks would finish this year <laughs> second to the freaking bottom of the Pacific. 27-50. and 50. 27 games won and 50 lost. Dang. A total of 59 points. It's just disgusting. Dang. Look at who won the freaking division. Vancouver with 109 points. Now, that's a winning team. Dang. They went that's fi- a lot. They went 50 and 23. Dang. Yeah, and look at the Ducks, 27 and 50. Yeah, completely Almost different. the opposite. <laughs> yeah. We suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But Vancouver, Edmonton. The LA Kings, ew, and the Golden Knights from our division all made it to the playoffs. Mm. The Flames, Seattle, the Ducks, and the Sharks all eliminated. The Flames. The That's Flames. Funny. They it. It's kind of a cool name. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we suck. You know, whatever. It is what it is, but hey, misery loves company, so let's be miserable together. It is getting. But yeah, so a little bit of our teams right there. What do you, what do you think? Oh, our teams right now? What do you think? Horrible. No, I'm Horrible. just kidding. No, that's cool. Well, hey, the galaxy is looking great. But sometimes I wonder, like, do pe- like they should investigate in a way. <gasps> like, what makes our teams lose so much? Stupid moves. Like, is it the coaching? <laughs> is it the team not getting along? Like, I don't know. I would want to look into more like depth, I guess, hmm. on what it is that why our team is not doing at least decent through the whole season. And that makes sense. And then try to find ways to help them improve. Yeah. Even if they have to switch players around or whatever. So many things go into it. Sometimes it's locker room issues, like you said, not getting along. Chemistry, team chemistry. Sometimes it's the head coach. Uh, it could be so many things. But, but overall, it's just something's not clicking. Or sometimes I feel like these men and women, too, just lose lose their... What's the word I'm looking? Not mojo. Confidence but... is getting good. They lose their mojo. <laughs> like... I lost my mojo. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, I'm being serious though. Like their heart for the game, I guess you would say. Like their passion. There you go. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. You know. Or I maybe could... they're burnt out or something. No. <laughs> something happens. I don't know. But, you know, hey. I lost my mojo. Just kidding. Come on, I want to see if my bits and pieces still work. He was playing. Um, <laughs> I was frozen. For, I'm sorry. I love that movie. All the other L.A. Oh, he's talking about L- Louisiana, L.A. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> for LSU. But, yeah, uh, Adam Karnak here in the chat room says, And don't forget the 16 and 9 Cubs that beat the Dodgers too earlier this year. We don't want to talk about the Cubs. Okay? <laughs> we don't like them right now. Okay, But he says, teams are so... Teams are bad so the Dodgers can be good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. 
But looking right now at the current draft tracker, oh man, I'm just so happy. I'll tell you right now, the Lakers, uh, D. Dorks, why you gotta bring the Lakers up, man? Yep, poor Lakers. Denver's probably the one team in the league could have swept them. Absolutely, man. And they're going to. They're, they're, the Lakers are gonna be gone tomorrow. They suck. Peace never out. know. You never know. Well, we'll find out. But I have Don't no hope. hope. I have. <laughs> I have no hope for this team. Okay. But let's get in really quick. Like I said, last night with the 13th overall pick, our Lakers, hey, they picked up Brock Bowers. Super good tight end. The dude is solid. I- I'm really excited to see him play. I think he's going to do pretty dang good. The Lakers are – the Lakers. I'm going to talk about the Lakers. The Raiders have done a really good job so far. I really enjoy uh, seeing what Antonio Pierce is doing. Mm-hmm. And it, it makes me really happy to see how well this team is being put together right now. Brock Bowers, a playmaker, a big target, big tar- two big targets now, him and Myers. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's awesome, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the Raiders this year, this season. Yeah, they, they, it, it, I'll tell you right now, Antonio Pierce is putting it together. Yeah. And, and, and this is going to be great. We, we're trusting Aiden O'Connell right now at quarterback. I think it's great. This is this is going to be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It's going to be neat to see the defense. Let's see these guys get put together. Let's hopefully we can get some kind of defense going. But overall, I think it was great. And offense, right? Because they picked up that one guy. Well, yeah, now we got some offense. And then, I mean, look at this. Our latest pick right now in the second round. We talked about it earlier when it first happened. I mean, this is awesome, man. Jackson Powers Johnson, center slash guard, interior offensive lineman out of Oregon. We just picked, you know, picked him up right now. He's a freaking monster. Like this guy, that, I don't know if he was, you know, he came out early. He's a junior, 6'3", 328 pound. Six three. Dang. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Two hundred thirty eight pounds, <laughs> even scarier. You know, he's a big guy. You know, he's he's a solid player, and I do, I love it. He's an Oregon guy. You know, I, I think he saw it. He got 30 reps of 225. Dang. That's right by where I'm doing right now. The yeah. guy's pretty damn good. He's a strong guy. Uh, I mean, 8-8 eight, eight broad jump. He jumps a 32 vertical. He's, he's got, he's he's a pretty solid dude, <laughs> you know? And Sorry. Exactly, yeah. The chat room, a hog molly. He is definitely a hog molly, and we need that. Because, hey, if you're going to stick with Aiden O'Connell, you got him another big target. You already have Devontae Adams there. You know what I mean? You have you have some receivers there. You you have a, um, you know, you need to protect your quarterback, okay? And, yeah. and why not? Why not? I mean, I really like this pickup, guys. I, I really do. I think this is going to be a solid, solid pickup for the Raiders. And uh, overall, right, I mean, looking at right now, even at the depth chart, we're, we're going with Zamir White right now. we got Abdullah. Of course, Josh Jacobs is gone. But let's see if we can get another running back in there. Um, but don't forget, we still have Jacoby Myers. I mean, we just have so much going on right now. You know, Christian Wilkins, also now on the defensive line to help out Max Crosby. Another defensive end would be nice. Maybe one of them will, will step up. But overall, hey, let's see what we got right now. I think yeah. this has been great. Jack Jones last year with his one freaking hand interceptions and everything. I mean, mm-hmm. this team is solid right now. I think we have a, a solid team, but we just got to keep building on it. Yeah, I feel like this season, they might not make it all the way, but I feel like this season is still their season. Oh, yeah. If that makes sense. Oh, yeah. This is this is definitely a, uh, a, fun, a fun turnaround. And, and let's see. Watch AP be the guy to to at least make this team back to being competitive again. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm looking for that. So these guys that get drafted, do they? I mean, I'm pretty sure they still have to work their way up. But do they get to play in the NFL? Oh games? yeah, they they first they got to work their way up through rookie training camp. Well, yeah, and they got to go to training camp and work their way up there, OTAs, training camp, all that fun stuff, and then that's it. And when the games start, these guys got to they, they find a roster spot. They're on the practice squad. The higher the pick, the better. The chance that they get, of course, usually the round one, round two guys make the team. Mm-hmm. You know, three, four, five, six, seven. It depends on them if they make the team or not. Or yeah. practice squad. But it all depends. And some of these guys, I mean, Tom Brady was a sixth round pick. Yeah, I remember so... that. I forgot. Well, I don't remember, but I remember you <laughs> telling me. So, yeah. So, um... Well, hopefully we'll hear that guy's name. Which one? Um, Brock Bowers? Yes. Oh, he's going to be a stud. <laughs> 
yeah, Brock Bowers is going to be great, and Michael Mayer. I mean, we just uh, we have we we have two really they call it, you know a bookend defense offense, two big solid tight ends that you can throw to. I love it. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and I love it. Yeah, Trink King, of course, man. Freaking Ralph Kalis, the chatter. Also, t- Taryn Rodriguez says, look for the Raiders to pick to get one of the Michigan running backs. I can totally see that. Uh, Mike Pat chimes in, commanders are picking again. And the guy I wanted them to take just went to the Colts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here we go. It's at least they're picking this time, Gen B says. And Mike, uh, Ralph also chimes in. Mike, it's a struggle out there for you tonight. Yeah, poor, poor commanders. I guess, oh, this team. <laughs> at least they got Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels last night with the second overall pick. It's quarterback out of also LSU, the purple and gold team. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Jaden Daniels actually came from Cajon High School in San Bernardino. Oh, nice. So he's a local guy. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's cool. Pretty neat, huh? So, anyway, so with that said, we're proud. We're hoping our Raiders keep on doing well. But there you go. A little bit of sports talk. So, mm-hmm. we're taking ourselves into the break. When we come back, oh, we're going to have us some more fun tonight, y'all. We got to talk about Bar Rescue. Because I'm all over that show. I've been. But, you know, it's it's funny. But it's funny. Any Bar Rescue fans in the house, let us know, y'all. We're going to come back, talk about some Bar Rescue, and oh yeah, we got a little draft to get to tonight, of course, the very first TSCPIESR draft. Oh, we're going to have some fun with that one. We're going to do a coin flip tonight. See who goes first. Oh, it's going to be fun. And we actually have a coin. Yep, it's right here. Yep, Cecilia's got the coins. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to take this a quick break. When we come back, we got plenty more. You're listening to the Sports Cup Perspectives right here on IE Sports Radio. You're directly for all. That is Sports. Be right back. After this. It's IE Sports Radio. It is your direct feed for all that is sports. It is Philly Sports Talk with Cash and Chris every Tuesday night right here on IE Sports Radio. Your direct feed for all that is sports. Philly Sports Talk with Cash and Chris is the most comprehensive view on Philadelphia sports exclusively right here on IE Sports Radio. You know what it is. Your direct feed for all that is sports. Tuesday night, IE Sports Radio, Philly Sports Talk with Cash and Chris. is up Carolina Nation. This is John Felipe of the Carolina Cast, of course the podcast of, by, and for the Carolinas right here on IE Sports, your direct feed for all that is sports. And I'm reminding you to tune in Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern for the latest in Carolina sports, whether it's the Panthers that keep on pounding, the fly natures of the Hornets, the storming hurricanes, the battle of the Blues with Duke and UNC, the fight of the Clemson Tigers, or the amazing atmosphere of any Carolina college. I'm talking App State. I'm talking ECU. I've got you covered. Once again, tune in for the Carolina cast with me, John Felipe, Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Couple Perspectives right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Ah, wow. She messed up. Oh. Gosh, darn it. Just kidding. I just kidding. I get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. You know what? It's been a long week and I've told you earlier I was mixing up even staff and students' names. I cannot get them right today. So. But... <laughs> Okay, stop. <laughs> Sorry. 
sorry. I'm going to get hit right now. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. I'm sorry. It's okay. That was funny. It was funny. Me. I'm sorry. Just kidding. Sorry. 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 <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, guys, seeing everybody here in the chat, man. Oh, it's been great. It's been fun. The Gen V, they got the player she wanted. That's awesome. Michael Hall <laughs> Jr. Oh, that's awesome. But, oh, they went, oh, they'd go O line. Oh, well, well, we'll see. Good, good old, good old Browns, man. They, they haven't got a pick. They, they didn't get a first round pick this year. So they, they traded it away. Oh. So, yeah, you can do that. You can trade out of Rams and all that good stuff for picks and everything for players. <clears throat> but, Ralph Kalise in the chat said it before break. John Tapp is the man. When did you start watching Bar Rescue? I think the only time I really watched it was with you, really. Oh, okay, I think sorry. we checked it out for the first time together. I mean, oh, okay. I've seen it way before him, but I don't yeah. really remember. Same here. I've seen him a million years ago, but started watching it only in the recent years. and That show is so damn funny. I'm sorry. I can't. I, I it's, it's easily my favorite show. I love it. It's so freaking funny. Because John Taft does not play. <laughs> like, no. he does not play. Mm-mm. I love it because, look, what do you guys think? John, I've seen him on podcasts and everything, and he's like, no, this is 100% real. Not scripted. You know, I, I think some of it might be a little Pretty fabricated. Sure. But honestly, guys, it seems legit. Like, it could be somewhat, like, super real. And I don't want, you know, I don't want, don't want to piss off John out there. But I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, he's going to come after you. I know. He's going to come here and yell at us. <laughs> <laughs> Your house is a disgrace. And he's gonna, you need to it clean it. not. Like, be but quiet. He'll, he'll probably say something like that. Like, uh, uh, look at your dishes. And he's going <laughs> to What? What? No. <laughs> Hey, he's gonna hook us up with um, bartender. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna remodel our place. You know? Oh That's man, kidding. that would be amazing. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, Bar Rescue is is just such a great show. So, for those of you who are living under a rock and don't know how awesome Bar Rescue is, John Taffer is he's been around for a while. It's pretty awesome. He rescues bars. He has very successful bars of his own. And he goes to sports bars who absolutely need rescuing. They're about to close down pretty soon and everything. It's kinda cool. There's some bars in our area that he's that he's mm-hmm. you know, like in Southern California that he's uh rescued. And I think it's pretty cool. It's something he goes back to re rescue and everything. And it's crazy because some of these people I don't know. I, I wanna th- say that some of that stuff is fabricated. But some of these people, oh my gosh, if that's really how bad the bar was, that is just sad. I'm just even surprised people were willing to still go there. (laughs) When he pulls up, like, mold (laughs) in their freaking freezers and in their, like, in their freezers, in their freaking kitchens, and it's I mean, if I was served food that we see on that show, and, oh my gosh, it just looks so questionable i'd be like i'm not eating this i definitely don't want to get food poisoning <laughs> right yep no thank you like it's 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 really nasty when you see some of these bars and like what condition they're in and it, i don't know, i want to be forced to believe sometimes this is like 100 percent authentic too because look at the couple places that he's left mm-hmm. like he legitimately like like he'll leave there was one bar that we saw, uh, where was it at? In Idaho? I think so. Meridian, Idaho. I remember that one. That was uh, called the Hideaway something. A bar and grill. And he, like, straight up left. Like, the guy wouldn't admit to being, like, a drunk or, like, An drinking. Alcoholic. And even his own people, his own waitresses said that he was. And they, like, denied it when he, when he like, confronted. And they, like, basically all called him a liar. So then he got... He said he told his team to gather all of the, the evidence of them saying that. He walked in with his iPad, played it for them, and that one girl looked like, <laughs> like her face when he played it. Like, oh crud. <laughs> I was caught red handed. It was so funny. <laughs> and then John like basically flips them off without flipping them off. He's like, screw you guys, I'm leaving. And mm-hmm. then they're just, like, left in their own crap. And I actually looked it up, and they they closed. 
Yeah. Like, crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I should have shown you that, but it's crazy. Like, some of these bars. So, Cecilia is like, we've got to go to some of these bars. There's actually a bar in Myrna Valley, not too far from us, that they redid a couple mm-hmm. years back. And it'd be cool to go check them out. Yeah. Yeah, or some of these around here. Maybe yeah, now shit. I would go to them, especially with... Uh... John's signature John, touch. sorry, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a great show. I mean, okay, so best, um, best, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you love best about the show? Uh, well, obviously, I love the remake of everything because you don't realize how horrible it looks because obviously the camera can't get every angle and every point of view, so... Uh, when they definitely show the remake of it all, it just looks amazing. So I definitely love that part oh, about yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Me too. I love it. And just how John just doesn't put up with any cred. <laughs> like, he'll put you in your place when you need it. Yeah. As I feel like he's one of those, like, where as long as you're honest about yourself and who you really are and right. you are more than willing to point out your own flaws then he's cool with you but if you're gonna deny and he knows like your flaws and your (laughs) your bad stuff then of course he's like uh no like we need to put you in your place and And make you realize oh she snapped but it's true it's true and i love it i love how he gets on them because it's true admit you're wrong admit you have a problem admit you're screwing up and i'll help you Mm -hmm. because that's the first thing admitting it right yeah. You know, and it's true. Some of these some people some people are delusional. Oh yeah. Like, oh I'm fine or I'm not fine. They know they're failing because they called him. I think the funny but... part too is where these people are in so much denial that when he tells them like this is what's going wrong, why why did you like do this or whatever? And then they get all up in his face a little bit and be like, <laughs> No, you're wrong, like I'm doing it correctly and then it's like, Okay, if you are then you're you're restaurant your bar would not be failing you would not be in debt right now and you would not be about to i mean you would not about to be closing your your bar down right now exactly why are you such an idiot Mm -hmm. like right doesn't it make sense like okay what doesn't make sense is okay if you're gonna tell john he is wrong then why did you call him in the first place (laughs) all right like are you stupid well sometimes too i think it's like the workers or um if it's like a husband and wife kind of situation like, say you were in denial, and I was the one who called out for help. Oh, yeah. So sometimes it's like that, too, yeah. where one person calls out for help, but the other, you know, the rest of them are not in agreement with it. <laughs> I guess I just think it's hilarious when, like, he regulates them like he's on it, you know? It is true. Like, and, oh, my gosh. Like, like Ralph Klee says here, the remakes of The Kitchens are the best. Oh, definitely. And, and it's so true. I, I think it's pretty cool when they make drinks. Like, they're talking about, like, the new drinks they make and oh, the new yeah. food, the new foods that they make. Mm-hmm. And see, this is something that's really cool, too, is, is, like, okay, so you go to a bar, a little dive bar or something like that, cool, enjoy yourself. But I love what he always says, that, like, you you need to have a small menu. Yeah. Something that I agree can be made quickly, something that's really good in signature, Mm-hmm. And just a few things. Here's this, this, and this. And then here's all of our drinks. Mm-hmm. And there you go. You know? Because if you have too many things going on, the quality is going to lack. It's not only that, but for a person like me, I get overwhelmed. <laughs> if I see too much on the menu, I am just like, okay, I have no idea what's good. I don't know. <laughs> you know, obviously you're going to kind of go with something that you know that sounds familiar or looks familiar. But either way, like, sometimes you, you go to a restaurant to try something new. So it's just like, but even then, it's just like, ah, like, this is too much. It's too overwhelming. So you just go with your best option or your best choice and go from yeah. there. Yeah. And honestly, it's, I don't know. I, I really, really like the fact that that he he plays such a pivotal role in bringing them, like, back from the dead. Mm-hmm. You know, it's because like, you can tell he truly cares, but it's just crazy when these people, like, when there's so many things that are extremely wrong. But the problem is, is like, they, it's true, a lot of them are in denial. 
But it's just insane to me how some of these people even let it get to that point. Yeah, seriously. And then that, too, I think the other funny part about it is that (laughs) the ones who... I don't know if you... I guess maybe you can consider them an alcoholic, but... (laughs) I mean, there's been times where people have been able to willingly quit, and it seems like they had no side effects. But it's just kind of funny. It goes with that saying, don't get... I hate to say it, but... Uh, they say don't get high in your own supply <laughs> because technically you are losing money. Why are you laughing? It's true. So he has told them a couple times. He's like, you know what? I don't even drink. Uh, John says, you know, I haven't even, you know, drink at my own bars. So yep. why would you get, you know, why? He's like, that's why I go to other places. I go to other establishments that's and right. stuff like that and drink there or whatever. That's right. Because he's like, you are losing money by drinking your own stuff. Don't be stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're going to buy yourself a free drink at your place, well, you're, you just lost whatever that drink costs. And drinks are expensive. Yes. like That's why I'm glad we don't, you know, go out. Oh, I know. Yeah, we, we keep it super chill, you know. And that's why, yeah, I mean, you know, winery here and there, do our thing, enjoy it. But it's true, man. Forget that. If we're going to make drinks, we can get a bottle and make our own drinks here. <laughs> get Spice up the... The freaking blender, like some blended. Hey, I don't give a crap. Like, I mean, hey, hey, right? Yeah. I mean, think about it. You know. So I just feel like, like, uh, you know, and, uh, look what Jim B says here. Jim B, my husband is a cook, and he says the same thing. He won't work for a restaurant that has too big of a menu. Yeah. Uh, yes, your husband is a hundred percent correct on on not having a huge menu. It's the truth. It does go both ways. It can lose it. What did you say? It loses its It loses its value. That and it does. Or uh, not value, I'm just, sorry. Yeah, not value. It it loses its um oh my gosh, are you serious? But like taste or whatever, yeah. Well yeah, I guess it's too much. It's too and much. And it's just overwhelming. Like yeah, it, it's it's ridiculous. Like you can't how how can you have 40 things on the menu and you have 10 orders out right now and there's 10 different things being made? Mm-hmm. That makes life hell for the cooks. And you know the quality of the food, the quality, the quality of the food is not going to be very good. Yeah. Think about it. Mm-hmm. You know, but if there's 10 orders out and you have three different things cooking at the same time, well, that's great. Because mm-hmm. now you can really pay attention and know that this, you know, plate of nachos and this uh pair of hot dogs and this burger they're all being made exactly how they should be made i mean you know what i mean right i mean i guess i just don't understand when people are like let's put 50 things on the menu yeah <laughs> like what the hell is going on in your head man like i i <laughs> somebody and then oh don't even get me started the freaking oh the ones that i love the most are the ones who can't make drinks <laughs> oh that part really, 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 I cannot say really enough, but it really does not make any sense. One, you need to hire people who know how to make drinks. It's yes. like a chef. Yes. You should be knowing how to hire a chef that knows how to cook. Yes. I mean, that didn't make any sense, but sorry, yeah. No, but no, you're I'm that yes. Passionate. Sorry. It's the truth. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense that not one person does not know how to make, like, I don't know, like a margarita or a freaking... I mean, granted, I don't know how to make these stuff, but still. <laughs> like, that's why they have schools. They really do. Like, uh, a trade school in a yes. way. For that kind of stuff. Yes. It's the truth. It, it, it's insane, <laughs> right? Like, go to bartender that school. That is so funny. No, it's the truth. It, in a it, bad way. It's the truth, though. You know? I mean, I don't understand, like, I don't know, um... What, what what drives me crazy is this true. What, what, you can't make a drink. What the hell are you doing there? Okay. <laughs> Number one. Number two thing. It. Okay. The thing that drives me and I'm going to use, I'm going to go from, I'm going to take one here from Dane Cook. Uh, one that drives me banana sandwiches. Okay. Uh-huh. Is the managers who don't know anything, oh, not but too. they're managing How in the hell do you not know how to make a drink or make any of the... You are the manager. That means if anything happens, anyone goes down, you can jump in the kitchen, help out, make some food. You can make a drink. What in... What in the blue hell are you doing as a manager if you can't make anything? (laughs) It's like they hire people who are just like... 
who walk by the restaurant and be like, hey, you want a job? Come <laughs> work for me. That's the Raiders. <laughs> hey, you want to play football? Oh. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here, man. No, that's mean. That's the old Raiders before that's before old Antonio Raiders. before Antonio appears. But that was the Raiders. Hey, man, come here. <laughs> Can you throw a football? I don't know what a football is. Come here. <laughs> How do you hire people who don't know the knowledge? I just don't get it. <laughs> okay, not that funny. But... No, it's funny. <laughs> I just, I really don't understand that part. Unless the people who've had the knowledge who worked for them left and then they just, you know. But either way, it still doesn't make sense. How your workers don't know anything. Like how to cook whatever or how to, you know, make a certain drink. And it's like, dude, really? Oh my gosh, yes. Like, it. oh my god, I'm just low-key surprised uh, John doesn't get on them about that kind of stuff. Like, <laughs> I've never really heard him say, like, how do you not, I mean, like, how do you, yeah, I don't even know how to spit it out, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him, like, it's funny, like, the play, like the people he fires, like, remember one, this guy really tried, like, okay, this dude tried to say it wasn't him, but he doesn't know how to manage anything, the owner didn't even know how much money he was losing, and he basically told the owner, like, because the stress test, to me, is the funniest part of the show. That low key even makes me like, oh, like I want them to get it. Obviously, you can root for them, but it's just like, oh man, if I was going through this, I would be stressed. I probably would have been like, I'm done, I quit. But <laughs> at the same time, I probably wouldn't because, yeah, I'm I just, weird. I like to put myself through those situations I don't sometimes. Know. What is with you? I don't know. So, but now I'm in a, obviously a really good job, so right. and I don't have those days. Well, you. It's funny because you used to work in food. Yeah. It, in Cecilia, it's hilarious. It drives her crazy when she's like, oh, my gosh, they're grabbing the rim of the drink. Oh, my gosh, they're touching the food without no gloves. And I'm, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess so. But you, like, you call it out so quickly. It's hilarious. Oh, it's so disgusting. Yeah, it's uh, – the chat room is – man, the chat room is bumping. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. Yeah, we appreciate you. Yeah, uh, Mike Pat, man, he says, let's see here. Uh, well, wow, where are we at? Okay, so Adam <laughs> says here, well, also, if you have a huge menu, you have to spend a fortune in food to have all that stuff yeah, on hand. That's oh, where yeah. they definitely go wrong, too, and that's where they lose more money okay. out your, on. Your overhead is just through the freaking roof at that point. Salute! What's going on? Marcus Lowe's great. Thank you for tuning in, man. Uh, Mike says, all a massive... Oh, all, wait, what is this? All a massive menu does is drive up your COG, which is like your bar rent, like the... the I think like overhead. Oh, I think. Uh-huh. break it down for us, Mike. <laughs> uh, Jim B says, "M, there's always four or five things that aren't ordered regularly. So when it's ordered, the cooks don't know how to make it, and it slows them down." Yep, exactly. Now you're really screwed because mm-hmm. now if my fat ass goes to a bar <laughs> and or you know what I mean, with where we go and we order something and it's been thirty minutes, I'm starving. You know what I mean? Like, no, man. And yeah, like, you be pricey. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I eat a lot, guys. Sorry. But yeah, I know it's the truth then. And yeah, yeah. Mike says, yeah, that's stupid. Um, yeah, Adam, here you go. Raiders, do you want to play football? Ran, random dude. What the bleep is a football? Raiders. <laughs> Perfect. You'll be the quarterback. <laughs> exactly. It, it, yeah, that's, thank you. That's exactly the quarter of the quarter. Yeah, that's the Raiders. That's the old Raiders right there. Mm-hmm. What's a football? Here you go. <laughs> this right here. Here, throw it. Like, seriously. Like, yeah. So you, you think of where the hell does people even come from? Like, how do these owners even hire these people in the first place? I don't get it. Either. Can you manage a bar? What? I don't even speak English. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, seriously, man. Like, what? Do you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. Like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Use language today. Like, I, I can't help it, guys. Like, I, I don't understand some of these people. Mm, I don't understand either. It really, really drives me crazy. Um, Mike Pat says here, how can you tell? How, how can you tell people to do their job when you don't have to do it yourself exactly or don't know how to do it yourself hmm. it is so true and jen b says my husband is the same way when we go out and yes i mean it's crazy when oh thank you mike cost of goods oh there C-O-G, you go cog but yeah so you like your overhead mm-hmm. how can you how how can you buy all this stuff if you're only making a certain amount of money back on it. Or not even. Or not even. Now, the one that drives Cecilia crazy, but not me, and it drives John Taffer crazy, is overpouring. 
I'm completely fine with overpouring <laughs> because it makes it a stronger, nicer drink. Well, like I, well, I've told you, um, but the whole point of a of a mixed drink is yes, you still taste the hard liquor, but yeah. you're not supposed to like as much. Yeah. Um, because obviously, the, and two, you don't want to drink too much of those because they'll freaking sneak up on you. <laughs> Long Island or LA I mean, water. Yeah, For that's you, yeah. the whole point of, like, beers and, like, other, or wines or whatever. I mean, you know, you get those faster or whatever, but. Drink as you yeah. go. You, I mean, obviously, all drinks are just meant for in moderation and just to enjoy. Please, yes. And obviously be safe. Yes. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't, I forgot what else I was going to say. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and plus, too, with them over pouring, they're freaking losing out on money because then they have yes. to refill by buying more alcohol. Yes. So, that's why they're saying. Don't overpour. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense. It does. And Terrence says, you're all, I miss the Raiders being stupid. Just kidding. It's good for football, for the NFL. Yeah, well, they'd be worried. And it's, <laughs> they definitely were. It's good that the Raiders will be good. Yeah, it's good for everyone that everyone's good. But every now and then you get a dummy. Mm-hmm. And the Raiders were the dummy for a long time. But I'll tell you, it really, some of these shows, that's why it's kind of hard sometimes to think, like, okay, maybe it's not a little fabricated. Or maybe it is a little fabricated. Because it's, sometimes it's really hard to believe some people are that dumb. Mm-hmm. You know, you got mold really growing. Is. Obviously, your bar smells. There's something happening. You know what I mean? Like, And then it makes me wonder, too, if any of these people have food handler cards. I know! They're, yeah, they're food handlers. It's so true. Um, I, okay, well, I work in a community-based school, so obviously um, our, our kiddos do work. Not kiddos, they're adults. But, um, you know, have to go out in the community, and they do jobs and whatnot. And one place is Texas Roadhouse, so... Even the mm-hmm. staff have to have mm-hmm. um, gloves. No, <laughs> well, yes, food handler's card. Sorry, but yes, a food handler's card. But yeah, I I just really see never brings that part up. But I mean, I don't know, especially I don't know. Yeah. Well, people, man, Gen V chimes in and says lose so capital S O much money over uh, over pouring liquor is the uh, the money maker. Yeah, and he always says that too on the show. I like when he shows them their bartender. Is it bartender? Mm-hmm. Bartender. Bartender, mm-hmm. right? Where he shows it to him and like, this is how much money you're losing in a year, in a month, in a day, and everything. Yeah. And yeah. J- John goes off. <laughs> like, but I think it's awesome because he's a hard ass with those who think that they're hard asses. And he's also really, really nice to those who just say, yeah, I, I screwed up. Please help me. Mm-hmm. And he's like, your best friend. He wants you to admit you're wrong. And then he's going to go beyond. And he's going to put his name on your on your bar. Mm-hmm. He just doesn't want you to bull cred. Yeah, it's true, man. <laughs> I would say it, but no, no. BSing. Like, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I just, I just, oh my gosh. It's a special show. It's a good one. It's a good show. We, yeah, it's a great It's one. Larry's freaking telenovela, <laughs> though, because he watches it like every day. Even this, he'll watch reruns. I do. He'll I replay w- shows over and over. No, I'm just kidding. I watch like the funniest moments on YouTube. I I watch all kinds of stuff. Hilarious okay. hooked. I, I can't help it. It's great. It's a great show. It's it's. I think it's funny when he yells. At <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I like the show, but I can only handle so much, and then yeah, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> anyway, guys, it is such a great show. Freaking go watch it, man. Bar Rescue. It, it's simply a, a must-see. <laughs> John Taffer is the man. It is it is certainly a must-walk show. You got to check it out at least once or twice. I mean, it's it's a fun one. Is he still creating them? Yeah, he's still oh, going. Okay. Oh, yeah, John's going, Because I know after a while they kind of, you know. No, I think he's going to keep them going. I mean, there's a ton of bars out there. Well, yeah, I mean, there's always going to be a ton of bars to save. But, yeah. but I'm saying, though, because... There's been other, like, home improvements or whatever that are still around, kind of, but not as much. Yeah, that well, makes sense. Or they just stop altogether. Well, I've heard, like, oh, new episode coming up. Oh, yeah, then, I mean, yeah. it could be old. Who knows? But all I know is they're funny, and I don't even care. I just put it on. And there's a Marshawn Lynch one that I want to watch. He used to be a Raider up in, in Oakland. Um but yeah, that was crazy. But anyway, guys, that was a uh, pretty cool discussion there. So we are now going to do yeah kidding. drum roll please i don't know what we're gonna do <laughs> are we gonna do a little dream build up sure why not oh yeah in cecilia's hand we have what do you want to do the 
I don't know what I thought it was. Oh, drum roll. Yeah. In Cecilia's hand. Okay, it's not there yet. Oh. In Cecilia's hand now officially, she holds a quarter from 1995. Hey, the year the Niners destroyed the Chargers in the Super Bowl. We were not born yet. Yes, we were in 1995. Oh. We were little. I don't don't know why you thought 80. I don't know why I thought you said 85. My bad. (laughs) Adam Karnick, that was not a drum roll. I'm not here. (laughs) (laughs) I know. She saw a drum on the thing, on the effects. That's why. Anyway. It tricked me. (laughs) Well, in her left hand, she holds the magical quarter. And, yeah, we weren't very old. So, here we go. The quarter is in her hand. She can call it in the air, and whatever it lands on has the first pick. What do you call? Heads. She calls heads, and the coin flip is... <laughs> heads! It's heads. Cecilia gets the first round Ooh. pick. Well, she gets the first pick. We're going to take ourselves a quick break, strategize one more time. When we come back, you guys, we have the very first TSCP IESR draft. You are listening to the Sports Club Perspectives right here on iSports Radio. Your direct feed for all. That is sports. We'll be right back. After this. Oh, man. It's going to be fun. I know they can still hear it. But it doesn't matter. We'll be right back after this. (laughs) What's good, everyone? Drosky, the host of Heart of Texas Sports on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. On this station, we cover everything in the Dallas Fort Worth, Texas area. From where we cover the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas Stars, Dallas Mavericks, Dallas Wings, Texas Rangers, TCU, SMU, we cover it all right here every Wednesdays from 9 to 10 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you stay live with me on the Heart of Texas Sports on IE Sports Radio. Your direct feed for all that is sports. Cleveland and Columbus sports fans, this is Jen D, host of the Show of the Land on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. If you love Cleveland and Columbus sports like I do, be sure to tune in live to the Show of the Land on Tuesdays, where we will cover the Cleveland Browns, Cavs, Guardians, and Monsters. We will also talk about the Columbus Blue Jackets, Crew, Fury, and of course, the Ohio State Buckeyes. We'll also cover other colleges in the area like Akron, Kent State, Cleveland State, Mount Union, John Carroll, Baldwin Wallace, Youngstown State, among others. So like I said, if you love Cleveland and Columbus sports like I do, be sure to tune in Tuesdays to the Show of the Land with Jen B. on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Couple Perspectives right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. And we are officially in draft territory. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024, at least April 2024, (laughs) (laughs) TSCP IESR. 
draft is officially underway. Heck yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe we should do this every year. Around NFL draft, draft time. time. Hey. That sounds like a good idea. It is fun. I like so, that. Once again, guys. The Sports Cup Perspective, i.e. Sports Radio, all spelled out, draft this year is, of course, a couple's bet against each other, mm. of course. So, the, <laughs> she's putting her dukes up over here. <laughs> so, yes, we will be picking two teams of six of all of our podcasters here at i.e. Sports Radio. Cecilia got... She fl- we flipped the coin. She called heads. It was heads. Oh, yeah. She gets the first round pick. Okay. Well, first pick, that is, uh-huh. in the first round. We're just going to go back and forth. Yeah. And we looked at all of the times. Okay. We looked at all of the times. Let me start the times. All of the plays combined with live plays and total plays. And very easy, starting from now on. So the first show tomorrow, that's not a show that has to do with myself or her. Okay, uh, we get to pick these shows, and over the week up until next Friday when our show starts, we will add up all of the live plays and downloads, and the team with the most points, Team Cecilia, our Team Larry, will get the victory. Which, it's going to be Team Cecilia. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so, so, next week, then of course, we will... Be forced to have a movie marathon and have to watch three movies of the winner's choice and eat the pizza brand of the winner's choice. Cecilia's going Papa John's already. I know that. Heck yeah. What is your movie of choice that you will make me watch if you win? Movies. Movies. Uh, it would make... definitely be the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh, here we go. I've never seen them. Not a we've fan. been meaning to watch them, but now this would be every reason for you to watch them. Okay, so you're going to go with the trilogy. Yes. I'm going to go with the trilogy as well. It's one of my favorites growing up. I was a little kid. I don't give a crap. My parents were awesome. <laughs> I love it. Mrs. B, Mr. B. I like there. that. Should that be the, the, the names? Yeah. Team Mr. B, Team yeah. Mrs. B. Yeah. I like that. Okay, we're going to do that. So... Cecilia's movie of choice is The Lord of the Rings. My movies of choice. I grew up watching these. Yep, I don't care. I was young and then into teenage years. They were (laughs) hilarious. American Pie! Oh, no. Wait, why are you torturing me with those movies? You're torturing me with your movies. No, these are not torture. Neither is American Pie. American Pie is hilarious. You're lucky I didn't pick like a rom-com or like... A romantic movie or a chick flick. You could have. I could have, but I didn't. You can change it. No. Oh. That, I'm not mean like you American are. American Pie is funny. I think I've only seen bits and pieces of the first one, but oh, not fully funny. all the way through. Oh, they're funny. Oh, they're he so funny. You would pick like crude, nasty humor they're movie. They're fun. That's my kind of funny. <laughs> That's my kind of movies. None of the team movie, American Pie, um, the Van Wilders. Oh, those were the best. You've seen one of them with, with um, Mr. Ren- Ryan Reynolds. Those are my funny movies, okay? Uh, but, yeah, this is this is going to be fun. So, uh, <laughs> look at the chat room here. So, Adam says, what movies are you picking? Of course, uh, Mike, of course, Lord of the Rings nerd, too. Just kidding. So, he says, go, Cecilia, go. And Mike says, I'm pulling for Cecilia. If I end up on Larry's team, I'm throwing it. <laughs> That's cold. He's gonna cancel the show this week, so that way we don't you don't get the listens. We're gonna go with that too. If any of our if any of our podcasters decide not to go live this week, well then we have to eat it, and that's it. No, we don't get the points. Okay, y'all gotta no stick to it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have no fun. call offs. No call offs. <laughs> not this week. <laughs> Well, that's all we're going to call off for me. Yeah. That's cold. I'm that's going to be messed up. So, okay. Well, we did the combination of... Ah, she's going team Larry. Thank you, Jen B. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, thank you, Jen. Somebody's on my side. No one <laughs> likes me. Okay. 
I know, I guess I'm too mean to everybody on the station. <laughs> I guess, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. But alright, guys, they're like, yeah, let's pay back a-hole. Okay, but um, anyway, um, Darren says here, I'll make sure I go live no matter who drafts me. What a guy. So, we have up the big boards. We have our big boards. We went, once again, who who had the most plays all freaking uh, from live and downloads in the last four months. And, well, we have our top 12 at least and then some, on, some other ones that could, you know, get up there really big. i got to throw this out there, guys. Sounds of the Sound, who, who was on earlier with our brand new host. This dude is awesome, man. Sounds of the Sound with Jacob Dennis. You guys, he's only been on two shows and he's already worked his way up to a top 15 show. He's already at 118 total downloads and live plays in just two shows yeah that's awesome yeah that's a huge thing there so mm-hmm. uh sorry so i can't do lord of the rings that's my husband's wheelhouse <laughs> oh here we go yep and it looks like taryn's going with me too hey he's picking right to you too yay well we're gonna find out who drafts who right Dang, now man i feel the love man i feel the love no, I'm just got, you got adam and mike over there <laughs> and and awing they're lord of the rings nerds <laughs> Just so, kidding. Sorry, so yeah. So, anyway. Oh, it makes it even two and two. I know, right? So, here we go. Starting the draft. Pick number one. Uh, Cecilia B, you are now on the clock. Team Mrs. B is on the clock. Yes. Go ahead, take your time. Go ahead. Take this your time. This is so hard. It's okay. We can, we, you I guys mean, made it very hard for we, me to pick. Oh. Because I like all your guys' shows. Aren't they great? Had, yes. Aren't they great? And the ratings, man, are great, too. The great ratings, right? Oh, oh. the chat room is blowing up. They don't even know. For the, the Shrine. <laughs> or for the Shire. What the, what the Shire. Shri- Never mind. You'll find out when I win what? and we'll get to watch the movies. What the hell's a Shire? You'll find out, oh. I said, when we watch the movies. Oh, do a trade. Do a trade. <laughs> trade. <laughs> I will trade you two nights of me making dinner. I'll clean the restroom. <laughs> oh, Damn, that's a good one. If to trade you for your number one pick. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's Mike a good one. I should have said that. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, are that's you re- a good deal. Are you rejecting <laughs> or are you taking the trade? Oh, man, this is too much stress. By the way, you're actually on the clock right now, too. I'm going to start a timer. We only got two minutes per pick. So, yeah, you, you got to you gotta go. The timer is set. Okay, you got a couple extra seconds there. The- you would clean the bathroom. You even scrub the tub. She's and she's the in toilet. she's in tears, guys. Look at her. She's, she's going. She's she's like, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, this is a good. This is a good. This is a good trade. It is a very good trade. But you also want to win. <laughs> yes. Why are you in tears for? Her? She's she's laughing that hard. Because I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> cannot be in the spotlight man <laughs> cannot handle the pressure <laughs> okay <laughs> you're gonna have to put you you're gonna have to put your wife on the clock damn you're pulled there i know yeah i know uh, uh, i'm gonna get it afterwards off boom we're all fair don't don't worry about that okay your first pick is I'll just stick with my first pick. Okay, she rejected the trade. Yeah. 56 Are there seconds. Are trades like, later? There could be. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Here my we go. My first pick is, let's whine about uh, oh. DMV Sports, Mike. Wow! Okay, so <laughs> Cecilia went with, Wow. Okay, so let's one about DMV Sports, you guys. This is a pretty solid show, okay, here on the network. In the last four months, has 108 combined, combined, okay, 108 combined plays, mm-hmm. downloads, and live listens. This is the 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17th show. Yeah, 22, 23, 24, 20, out of 25 other shows that aren't, uh, aren't ours. So you're, 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 you're being brave. Oh, there's the timer. <laughs> there's a timer. So, Mike, wow. I know, Taryn. That was so hard. She goes. It was very hard. She goes there with the 17th. Wow. You, 
Okay, not saying Mike's a bad pick, but I'm just saying you just dicks the whole top 12 there. <laughs> so, hey, we'll find out. You know, we, we shall see. So, okay, looks like I am officially on the clock and my pick is already in. Well, that's if I come up with the, what do you call it? Oh, do you want to? Oh, a deal? you don't. I'm just kidding. Do you propose a trade before we start the clock? I want to keep your trade that you got. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I have to do something. Never she mind. said clean the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I, I offered clean the bathroom and two nights cooking dinner. I know. Oh, that was a good trade. That was a good trade. I, okay, I'm officially on the clock. Two minutes. Okay. So, yeah. oh, they're going off in the chat room. So, man, I'm going to have to do some promotion. Oh, Mike Pat <laughs> is trying to get the numbers up for you this week. Adam Karnick, Larry's giving the Mel Kiper treatment. <laughs> yeah, the trades. Uh, it's because I cover volleyball, isn't it? Just kidding. No, it's not that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the projected first round, the, the projected number one overall pick, you guys, just so you know, Tara Rodriguez with set point is currently at 422 live plays combined with uh, uh, downloads, okay, Four, 422. The closest to Tara Rodriguez is Philly Sports Talk with 365 combined live plays and uh, downloads. Ladies and gentlemen, this one's not necessarily the hardest one for me, but do you propose a trade? I got nothing. You got nothing? Not right now. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Mr. B selects set point with Tara Rodriguez. (laughs) Yes, he does. (laughs) I knew it. You had him. I know. You had him. You busted a Raiders. You, I know. you raided. Hey, I'm just kidding. Poor that's Mike. not nice. Mike, Mike is like, I'm quitting. Right? <laughs> Mike, Mike isn't happy right now. I'm sorry. I'm Way to kidding. show the love. I'm sorry. Just so, kidding. Hey, so hey, we're at war right now. Okay, we're at war. So, <laughs> so Mike Pat is officially on Team Mrs. B. Taryn, welcome to Team Mr. B. Good sir. He has more plays than a 1950s malt shop jukebox. That's right. Taron Rodriguez, welcome to Team Mr. B. Amazing pick. I mean, wait wait until Mel Kuyper talks about this pick. Oh, Mel. <laughs> Mel Kuyper. Ma, you don't, she don't know who Mel Kuyper is. We're canceling the show. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, there's my... Shit. <laughs> there's my timer. Sorry. So, okay. Yes. That is a great pick. Thank you, Mike. Yes, I. Th- Taryn, the legend at number one pick. I mean, he was number two pick overall in the draft, but I'm just saying, look, last year, Bryce Young went first overall to the car- to the Panthers, and they fell apart. Also, C.J. Stroud went number two overall, and look what he did. He took the, the Texans all the way to the playoffs. I'm just saying, second overall picks, they have something going there, so I'm happy we got him. Are you mad at me? No. <clears throat> Here Sorry. we go. Taryn's going to help me have Cecilia watch American Pie this next past no. week, this next coming weekend. No. So. I'm going to win. We're going to win. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. Second round is officially underway. Mrs. B is now on the clock. I don't want to propose a trade now because I think I have my I have my, my starting quarter. I have QB1 right now. I got Mr. Rodriguez. And, and that boy, he bats a 1,000. Okay? He's he's He's... His QB rating is ridiculous. All right, he—I uh, <laughs> don't know what other sports I can think of that you know he scores four goals in one match. I don't know. He he scores hat tricks in hockey <laughs> and in soccer. I don't know. But okay, Cecilia B is just gathering her thoughts right now. Yep. I feel like I'm doing a golf commentary. You know? Right. She lines up to take the strike. <laughs> so what? The deals are off now just because the number one picks are done? No, kidding. we can still make trades. But I'm just, I'm just saying trades. I really like my pick. I got a great pick. It was great value at number two. How as do they you know said. I'm not going to pick them? I don't know. Well, you got to look here. <laughs> Who is? So taking a look at the big board. Okay, so we got two off the board already. Yeah. Mike Pat has been taken and... Uh, Taryn Rodriguez has been taken, so you can take any of these here, all the way down to Beantown Blitz. You now have 54 seconds on the clock. Okay. <laughs> I, can I say it now? Oh, yeah, go ahead. You oh, have, okay. in, in 45 seconds, you have to make, my dear. Okay, the Buffalo Huddle with Patty Bass. Oh, she's going deep! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. So I gotta tell her. <laughs> Patty Bax! The Buffalo Huddle is next off the clock. 
She has a combined 339 plays, downloads, of course, and live listens in the year. She's currently number three overall on IE Sports Radio since the start of the new year. That pick has a lot of value in it. Mm-hmm. Not quite sure why you didn't pick the second overall pick there. Because woman power. No, I'm just But kidding. she's going with Patty. So looking here at the chat room, let's see what these guys are saying. Solid choice to say. Yeah, this is a very good. Oh, there's the. We got a good choice there. Don't, uh, don't Patty say no show this week. I know. <laughs> Hopefully Patty, uh, I think she'll do her show. She, she usually runs her show for a good minute before she ever takes a break, but. Lord of the Rings always puts me to sleep. Oh, <laughs> Marcus Marcus. Great. I'm just kidding. I love the books, but the movie always put me to sleep. He read the books? Oh, well, at least you got to read the books. Yeah, I do agree. I mean, I didn't get I haven't read them yet and I, I need them for to you for Christmas. I know. Shh. Um <coughs> I will read them probably over the summer break that we get. So, yeah, but I've always seen, uh I've seen the movies first obviously, but I definitely need to read the books because yeah. <laughs> the books are more I feel like are always more enjoyable than the movies but i love the movies too well let's see let's see so okay so patty is officially off the board two minutes are on the clock i am now on the clock round two pick number four in the draft well this one's not the hardest choice for me to make i know Ian. i i can't help this one i'm not sure why you didn't make this pick not that Patty's a bad pick at all, hey. and she can do it. I know she can. Why are you down talking me, man? I, <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> yeah, they do it in the draft all the time. Like, I, don't I don't care. know why they made that pick. Okay, but I got a minute thirty-two on the clock. I don't know. I got to think about this one. This is uh, definitely not an easy one because they're none of this is easy. Let's you know. Hey, we're we're dividing the team. I'm just kidding. I um, want to pick everybody. You want to pick everybody? Yeah, so you can beat the crap out of me. Just kidding. Yeah, you have none. <laughs> <laughs> Adam says the books are let's just say long. Well, I mean the movies are long too. Oh boy, well, here we go. They're so. all about three hours. I have to watch nine hours. Of... <laughs> please, God, I Taryn, have told you that, Taryn. Please get a thousand people to listen. Everybody, listen to freaking. I'll, I will cut your podcast if you listen to Taryn this week. No, you won't. I'm just okay. Well, I got a great second pick because there is a combined. 365 plays and downloads between these two. I love it. Second pick. I'm going with Philly Sports Talk. You better believe it. Cash and Chris, welcome to Team Mr. B. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a good one. I'm happy. I, I don't know. These are two great picks. They were one and two. Projected number one and two off the board. They were projected one and two. Mm-hmm. And, well, welcome to the... So, so far, I got... Set point and Philly Sports Talk on Team Mr. B. Cecilia has selected Let's Wind About DMV Sports and the Buffalo Huddle. Okay. Are we ready for round three? No. I'm just kidding. Cecilia is not ready for round B. I mean, round B, round three. <laughs> round B. Round B. <laughs> uh. This is definitely not an easy one. So, here we go. No, not easy. Third round. Cecilia's officially on the clock. Looking at the big board. What do you have to offer me to take what? my, what is it, my third? <laughs> yeah, my third. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I like know. the trade. I, I know, right? Yeah, I, I know, right? She liked that first round trade. Okay, so <laughs> currently on the board, we have Shy town Weekly with a combined 285 listens, uh, live listens and downloads. We have the Yinzer Report currently with 257 live and downloads since the start of the new year spaced out sports with j man currently right now with 203 left on the board we have hard texas sports with 191 total left on the board the socal spring sports show with 186 this is kc sports with 179 New York State of Sports with 163, Big Cheese Sports with 156, and the Show of the Land rounds out the top 12 of IE Sports Radio since April with 151. Mm. Or do you want to make a deep cut and see if any of these... The youngster, the rookie, the rookie, okay, Jacob Dennis, in two weeks' time, in one week, really, he had 118 combined. He's already jumped up to 17, or... Oh my gosh, 15. He's number 15 right now on Ice Sports Radio. He's only had two shows. That's mm-hmm. a phenom right there. I'm just saying. So I don't know. What do you think? You have 34 seconds. 
Oh, so hard. But that one is funny what Adam Carnick says. What? So, so you should take SoCal just so Taryn is divided. Oh, <laughs> you jerk. Oh, no. That's a good one. But That's actually nah. a really good pick. Oh, man, you're advised to take no, that No, because I feel like that would be, like, a double agent in a way. Ten. Sorry. Nine, okay. Uh, eight. Wait, I don't like this pressure. Okay, we'll pause the clock. No, it's okay. Wait, go back. The clock has been paused. We can, you can do it in Madden, so you can do it here, too, I guess. Okay. I do oh, it on Madden. Can. I do it on Madden, so I can look at all the stats. <laughs> oh, I don't cheat so at all. Hard. Okay. Wait, who have you picked again? I have the, the top two, Set Point and Philly Sports Talk. Oh, okay. So we got four more picks apiece. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with the Yinzer Report with oh, Ralph. Oh, she's going Ralph Kalise in the house. Going to Team Mrs. B. Oh. Oh, how about that? Once again, Ralph. The number five overall show since the new year on IE Sports Radio. 257 combined downloads and live listens, man. Two good. That's a pretty good pickup. I think that's a pretty good one. I like it. I, I like what you have to offer there. <laughs> um, good stuff. Okay. Well, this one, for me, I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. One of us was going to pick him right now. One of us was going to pick him. And oh, let's go back to the chat room. Uh, yes, yes, we will uh, say I have a surprise for my show this week. Oh, <laughs> he's really going to amp it up. Yay! Just so you know, Ralph actually knows some Steelers, reti retired Steelers in person. And oh, no freaking so, way. Ralph knows, has a lot of connections. Ralph, do you see how he should... Ralph only has 15 episodes. Look how high he's climbed in 15 episodes. That's awesome. Ralph, Congratulations, Ralph. Ralph's show takes off. So you got yourself a great pick there at number uh, three. Heck yeah. Great I know pick. I'm choosing correctly. He's you know, my team's not going to let me down. He's a Steelers fan, too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. They got a lot of following. So, okay. Well, this one isn't a hard one for me now because I thought you were going to pick him. I was going to, look, I was going to be raw for this guy. And, well, here we go. With my number three overall pick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Shy Town Weekly's own Adam Karnick to Team oh. Mr. B. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you better believe it. Oh, I'm going. That's right. I went there. I you took were pictures. on my pick list, too. I'm sorry. I had to. He, Gosh, he's too good. It. He's too good. It I sucks that we have the same interest. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, it's like the real, well, any sport who goes for a draft. I know, right? So, you guys, this is turning into a pretty intense draft here. We um, we got some good I got a great pick here at number three. I just got to say... Um, this one, this one's looking good so far. So, so, so far, once again, we have here, uh, team Cecilia, she's going once again, quick, quick draft recap, the, the draft ticker here, team Cecilia or team Mrs. B selected Mike Pat or Mike Pat, Patty Bax and Ralph Kalise, AKA let's whine about DMV sports, the Buffalo huddle and the Yinza report. And I have selected Set Point, Philly Sports Talk, and Shy Town Weekly. So, you know. Going back to the chat room, Adam says, You have my sword, Larry. Of course, you don't understand the reference. <laughs> I don't, but thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Gosh, I mean, darn it. <laughs> okay. It's making me nervous. Pick though. number four. Who are you taking? Back to the big board here. So the selected play, uh, teams already, selected podcasts. The next best podcast actually still left on the board. Spaced Out Sports right now, actually with 203. Heart of Texas Sports, another one with 191. By the way, just so you know, Heart of Texas Sports is now on StreamYard where he gets double the listens. Wow. That can be a big pickup for you if you take him. Next up in line, SoCal Stream Sports Show. Next best available, this is KC Sports. Ricky is climbing up the ladder. By the way, Ricky's show, he's doing multiple shows a week now. Wow. Ricky's shows are going up big time. He's doing post-game interviews. He's doing interviews with all of our, our colleagues. Ricky is a hidden gem. 
Big Cheese, don't forget, he also has StreamYard. That's a steal right there. Because <laughs> he has a lot of listens on StreamYard. And the show of the Lamb with Gen B, 151 already on the year. She is a sleeper in this draft. I'm just saying, guys, there's a lot of great value left in this draft here tonight. Okay, that's still in the top 12. Let's go ahead and put you on the clock for two minutes. Whoops. Get a good look at the big board up here. I'm trying. Once again, off the board, up until spaced out. And everybody down here is still available. So all these top ones have been taken. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and start the clock. Two minutes are on the clock. Pick number four. Well, not number four, I guess. This would be pick number, what, what where well, are we No, it at? is four. Well, fourth round. Oh, yeah. But pick number seven overall in the draft. Mm. Yeah, seventh pick. So, here we go. What do you got? Oh, my goodness. She <laughs> just showed me right now. Oh, I can't say that. I'm just kidding. But here we go, guys. The pick is in, and we're waiting for her to make the announcement. She is writing it down first. Yep, I'm old school. Pen and paper right now. The pick is in. Okay. And you select. The Heart of Texas. Oh. Drewski. Ladies and gentlemen. I like that name, title. The Heart Cute. of Texas Sports with the brand new StreamYard audience. Oh, she's going to rack up some points there. Drewski has been with IE Sports Radio for the last few months. He's been phenomenal. This is certainly a very, very good pickup at number seven. He has really climbed the ladder, and I think this is a good one here. So, solid pickup there for Mrs. B. Woo-woo. Now, this is a tough one for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little out there. Okay, I, uh, I'm really excited because this guy is a, you know. Somebody who I, uh, you know, all of them I consider great friends. All of them are awesome. But this guy right here, ladies and gentlemen, he is a fellow Raider. It goes no further than Sin City Sports. Kale Henderson is my selection for my fourth pick. That's right. I'm going Mr. Kale Henderson to join Team Mr. B in Sin City Sports on Tuesday. How do you like that? I went a little deep there, but I know that the Raiders draft, he's going to pull in a lot of listens from the Raiders draft, so <laughs> hey, I'm just so saying. Hey, my peeps too, okay? Oh, they are. They are. You're right. But, <laughs> okay. So, Kale is officially off the board. By the way, Kale was the number 14 show right now with 128 plays, but I got a lot of faith in this guy. I think he's got some great value, so I'm going to I'm gonna go with Kale Henderson. So, okay, here we go. Next pick off the board. We should make a little check mark, so... Make little uh, check yeah. marks here. So off the board, off the board, off the board. This has become a very intense threat battle here. Yes, it is. So, so this, serious. This is a good one, though. This is a good battle. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so here are all the red X's are all the teams selected. Okay. The next best available, we got Sp- uh, Spaced Out Sports. Once again, he's at 203 combined downloads and live listens. The SoCal Spring Sports Show. It would be a good idea to split Taryn in half. I'm just saying. No, I don't like that's that. That's a tough idea. one. This is KC Sports. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying. There's a lot of great picks. We still got Ricky in the running. So we still got some good value picks here. Okay. So what do you think? Your next pick. Oh, so hard. You're officially on the clock. Y'all make this so hard. <laughs> <laughs> How do the NFL teams feel? Y'all, so, y'all are good podcasters, man. Right? Aren't they great? Yes, they're awesome. So, here we go. 148 uh, on the clock. Do, 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 do. Oh, I better stop. I don't want to get sued. Um, <laughs> Terrence, this is plenty of me to go around. Yes, yes. We all want some Terrence, man. He's the man, so we love that guy. All righty. What do you think? Uh, okay. You've made I your selection? I got it. Yes. Okay. The clock has stopped. And here we go. She's writing her pick down. Yep. And let's see. Once again, Cecilia already has Mike Pat, Patty Bax, Ralph Kalise, and Drewski. I currently have Taryn, Cash and Chris, Adam, and Kale. 
And oh, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't. You, that's not right. She did this, guys. All right, the pick is in. The pick is in. Yes. And Here your we go. And your pick is Big G Sports. Bernie Bingo. She went to Packerland, you guys. <laughs> She got cheesy on me. You know what I low-key feel like this is? It's like an uh, uh, award show, in a way. <laughs> it is kind of like an award show, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Bernie Banga, you guys, a dude who pulls in tons of listens weekly. On, and by the way, this 158 is just downloads. He has way more than this, of course. Bernie Bango is a secret sauce weapon, man. He is on StreamYard. He pulls in a lot of audience. Oh, that's going to be hard to beat this week. That is a very, very thank you. I was going to pick him next, actually. So thank <laughs> I you. I beat you to it. You, you should see. You should have traded. You've got. I know. I should have traded. You should have traded. Well, that was the first round only, though. Well, no. Either way, you could. We, we make our own rules here. <laughs> <laughs> we could trade at any time. Well, you just got yourself a heck of a steal, man. I, that's crazy. A fourth rounder, too. That was the what is that uh, ninth overall pick in the draft? Bernie Bingo, man. That is a secret weapon right there. Very good choice. So, okay, let's go ahead and put two minutes on the clock for me and see what we got here. Okay, so still on the board, spaced out sports, the SoCal Spring Sports Show. Um, you know, and spaced out, awesome stuff there. The only problem is, is he does have some issues with going live certain weeks, so that kind of scares me a little bit. Uh, SoCal, another show that kind of scares me too, because Taryn, that you know, he's working, kind of dances around with the times and everything. So I don't necessarily want to take Taryn twice in a row, uh, but I will say, this is not an easy one for me to make, Martin. Is really pulling in a lot of listens right now, but I gotta do this, ladies and gentlemen. The pick for Team Mr. B is in, and that pick is the show of the land, Gen B. I I let you have that one. I got a good pick there. It was gonna be Gen B or Bernie, so I gotta go with Gen B. Gen B. Ladies and gentlemen, is currently the number 12 show overall on IE Sports Radio. She has racked up a major listening. She is all over Twitter. 151 total downloads and live listens since her start, her debut. Or not sorry, since her debut. Since the, oh my goodness gracious. Dodgers just destroyed the Blue Jays 12 to 2. So good job, Dodgers. Let's throw that in there. Oh, I love it. So, yeah, this was a good one. So, it's okay, though. No, no, hey, you're good. Taryn, Taryn's over here apologizing for SoCal right now. Not being so steady, but it's all good. So, anyway, Gen B, very good value pick for me. The number 12 podcast overall on IE Sports Radio. I think that was a solid pick up there. So, okay, here we go. We are now with one, two, three, four, five. Final pick. We just got our 10th pick. Now we have two more picks. Well, not a piece, but we have... One more pick per. This yeah. is the final round, sixth round, picks 11 and 12. What do you think? Who are you taking? This is a very stressful situation for yes. Cecilia right now. There are still some great picks here on the board. Once again, spaced out sports with 203. However, he does have some time issues sometime, so that can get a little crazy. SoCal is not steady at the moment, even though he's next best available after that. This is KC. He's coming back this week, but once again, not not really counting on it just yet. Uh, New York, Ricky is a steal. Now he's doing multiple shows a week again. Then you have the IE Wrestling Show with Martin. Solid. Mile High Musings is going to attract a big audience this week. Uh, Mr. Aaron, I know, is going to be doing that. Don't forget about the rookie. This guy is making some things happen. Jacob Dennis. You still got the Bayou Bulletin with Arthur. He changed his time up to a little bit hard for people to listen early in the morning. Uh, however, you know, these are all great picks here. Okay, moving all the way down, still on the board. The Neutral Zone, Palm Tree Sports, Fast Break, Magic City Scoreboard, Peach Empire Sports, The Extra Mile, which is currently on a small hiatus. We're trying to fix that situation. And then, of course, Carolina Cast. So going down the list all the way, Gloves Off as well down there. Uh, gloves Off and Beantown Blitz. What do you think? 
Oh. Next off the board. Let's go and put two minutes on the clock. <sighs> the first one, the first pick and the last pick, man, yeah, are the hardest. They're stressful, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Oh, this is so hard. Ralph says, so you pick your show. No, well, we can't pick our shows, guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard, and that'd be biased. All right. So, what do you think? There's some, you know, some things here, and this is a, a great pick. Definitely some great stuff here. So, 1.30 left on the clock. Okay, okay. Uh, this is so hard. Um. <laughs> Adam Carnick in the chat room says, ATL, yeah, Peach Empire Sports should be a big show this week as the Falcons totally boxed the NFL draft. Yeah, they screwed <laughs> up big time, taking, taking Michael Penix Jr., He's a great athlete, but after that big contract to Kirk Cousins, man, that was crazy. So, anyway, here we go. Okay, okay. Jeez, it's so hard. I know I keep saying that. <laughs> it, it is. Uh, Cecilia's. I'm really thinking. She's thinking hard here. Really hard. Pick three and out. You can't pick our shows, my, uh, Ralph. Okay, once again, no, no not one that yeah, either that of us would, are a part of. Yeah, that would be funny, Larry, helping me out. I know, right? Don't listen to the show. He's kidding. Right? He's kidding. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Thirty twenty-seven okay. seconds. Okay. Uh, who should I go with, guys? I know, right? Help me out. That would be fun, though, Ralph Kalis in the chat room. Okay. Oh, what do you think? Okay. 15. Dang, that goes so fast. <laughs> 10. Okay, I'll just go. Yeah. Is the pick in? Yes, I think so. Okay. Time has been paused. The pick is in. She's writing. I'm not looking. Here we go, guys. Oops. And I just realized this has been a two-hour show. Pick. Yep. <laughs> I think we do that multiple times. I know, right? We took up ours and Mike. Well, Mike's going live tomorrow, so, you know, we can take a slot tonight. It's okay. So. Uh, I'm losing it. Sorry. Hold on. <sighs> um, I changed it. Sorry. Sorry. I'm writing it down, guys. <laughs> it's all good. So here we go, guys. Once again, getting our, getting our picks in. Final pick of the night. And who shall it be? Okay. I'm ready. I would like to pick Marcus. I don't know if he's going to go live this weekend, though. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough one. But, okay. Are we ready? Okay. I am going with Peach Empire Sports. Oh! Ice Ray. She went... She's going to bank on the bust of the draft. Not the, I feel bad. Michael Pence is not a bust, but the Falcons definitely screwed up. That's going to be a good show tomorrow because, well, it is going to be definitely good. Yeah, Word of advice there from Adam Karnick. That is a good one. So that is a solid pick. Okay, so your final pick is in Peach Empire Sports. He is currently right now Ice Ray. Uh, my goodness, out of 25 shows, is currently number 20. Or I believe, yeah, somewhere down there. So it's okay. It's 89 total plays for the year and downloads. So, okay. Well, that is definitely a good pick there. And I got to say, this is not easy. Um, no confirmation there in the chat. Marcus, he says, Terrence says he thinks Marcus is going live. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but this is definitely not an easy pick for me either. I don't even think I'm going to need two minutes. But I will say, this has been a fun show. Definitely, definitely excited to go head-to-head -head this week. Oh, this is not an easy one. So, okay, guys. I think my pick is in. think my pick is in and good to go. Maybe we should have it go longer than a week, two weeks. I know, right? That kidding. should be fun. But... I am going to bank on my boy going live. I hope he goes live this week. <laughs> I hope he goes live this week before I say his name, gosh darn it. But here we go. I guess he's Mr. Irrelevant in this draft. The final pick off the board. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to have to have ourselves some fun. In draft, Marcus Most Great! <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, you got it, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Lowe's great. The last man off the board tonight. Oh, there's the music. What, you don't like Marcus' song? I didn't say that, but you didn't play that for all my people. Oh, I'm sorry. My really? bad. Well, okay, well, then I'll pause it. <laughs> it's about time that way anyway for us to cue that music and get up out of here, man. But, oh, that was a fun one. Oh, it was a fun, 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 fun one. That was a good one. Yes. Oh, that was fun. Well. This was intense. <laughs> that was intense. Yes, it was. So, ladies and gentlemen, the 2024, at least April edition, of the TSCP. IESR draft has concluded. I think I did pretty good. I think I did great. I think my team is better than your team. Oh no. <laughs> my team's gonna whoop your butt. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see who's watching what next weekend in the movie marathon. Come on. Team Mrs. D, don't let me down. So, just so you guys know in the chat room, for those who were undrafted free agents, be picked up during this week. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> for those of you who are undrafted, you guys get to make the picks, of course. Well, of course, you guys try to see who's going to win. But just so you guys know, the winning team this week, the winning team is going to pick the theme of the following week's show for our show. Yeah. So, if it's Team Mrs. B. Which it's going to be. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> Mike, Patty, Ralph, Drewski, Bernie, Bango, and Ice Ray will all have their twist and pick a theme for our show next week that we have to put in there. Uh-huh. Something fun. And if my team wins, Taryn, Cash, and Chris, Adam, Kale, Jen, and Marcus, they all get their chance to input the theme of our show next week. Yeah. Multiple themes, too. They can all pick something that we have to do in the show. Like, talk about or themes or whatever. Yeah, whatever. That'd, so that'd be cool. fun. It can make up yeah. our whole show. Yeah. Way. So, and that's the week after. So, once again, we will find out the winner May 3rd, my day, 53 day, y'all. That's right, my three day. And then, of course, the movie marathon will take place on May the 4th. Too bad it was a Star Wars. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Or May the 5th. And then, of course, on May the 10th will be the theme show. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to have some fun. The chat room's going crazy. They're competing. Look at this. Marcus, oh snap, they are not ready. Oh yeah. Woohoo, Team Mr. B. Thank you, Jen. Adam says, oh, I got this. Team Larry is going to win. And the, <laughs> then the theme is going to be Lord of the Rings trivia. Oh, I, I love can't it. Adam, stand you, Adam. <laughs> okay, I. Can I. Okay, can we redraft? Do you want to trade? Can I, can I trade? <laughs> can, I, can I trade Adam? Well, I would take Adam gladly. <laughs> I, I think that Adam needs to go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so very much. This was a fun show tonight, man. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you so much. Any last words for listeners tonight? Thank you for listening. Take care. Be safe and be blessed. And my team, let's go. Ha! <laughs> let's, let's go. Team Mr. B, Team Mrs. B, we're going to have ourselves some fun. Taryn talked about all the awesome themes he's got coming on this week. This has been a fun one, guys. Make sure to follow us at iSports Radio all over social media. Check out all iSportsRadio.com. All our podcasts are on there, of course. Put God first in your heart, y'all, and you can't never go wrong. We are so excited for this coming up tonight. Enjoy the rest of the draft. Enjoy weekend. Be safe out there. Follow us all over the place. TSCP underscore IER, IESR. Oh, that was a mouthful. Well, let's enjoy the weekend, y'all. We'll see y'all next week. Until then, take care. And as always, God bless. <laughs>